So Saguaro National Park was great, but I think Oregon Pot Cactus has it beat. We liked it. We liked it better. It's a little more isolated to get here, and you really have to want to get here, but I think it's worth the trip. Yeah. So stay tuned, and we'll show you why. We made it. We're at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. We stayed at the Twin Peaks campground inside the park. It has no hookups. It is dry camping, no electric. There is water on site. There is a dump on site. And looking at it, you would think it's a parking lot. And it kind of is a parking lot. But in between the sites, they have huge, we were right beside an enormous saguaro and on one side of us and an enormous organ pipe on the other side. And yeah, there's somebody next to you, but there's enough there's enough vegetation and, and stuff that it feels a little more private than you might think. I loved it. I thought it was nice. Like I said, there's a lot. They can hold a lot of campers in there. They had a lot of it um, closed off because of COVID. So that was like every other row was only open. So they're not at maximum capacity, at least while we were there. Yeah. Okay. One of the new things that we um, added to our little guy in the off season before we started the trip was we found that quite a few times whenever we would be out and about, we would have no uh, phone signal. Um, and whether that was data or texting, keeping up with the kid, keeping in track with our kids, keeping in contact with our kids, whatever. Um, but we, we have AT&T service primarily have for years. And so we added um, a dedicated um, phone that runs on a, a Verizon network. It's visible. It's $40 a month. You can actually get it down to possibly even $25 a month if you um, connect with other people and that kind of stuff. But we did that so that we could get a hotspot. One of the, one of the things with uh, the visible hotspot is you can only connect one device. Well, so if Christy and I both wanted to connect and that kind of thing, what would we do? The way that we got around it was with this. It's just a TP-Link micro router. I mounted it right here so it would, we could easily connect it to power. And really, it connects to my phone. That's the one device. And then all of our phones, uh, streaming devices, you name it, anything, we connect um, through this little router. And it, so tonight we were in, uh, we were in, um, Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument had no AT&T signal, but there was a Verizon signal here. So we popped this up, turned it on, and it worked like a charm. And we were able to watch TV. Yeah, we were able to watch. Yeah, we were able to watch um, streaming videos. Even it was that it was that good of a signal. That's the life. While you're here, there's two drives that you can take. One of them is the Puerto Blanco Road. It's a loop. There's a north and a south portion of it. The part of each of the north and the south portion are okay. They're gravel dirt roads and they're okay for passenger cars. However, the part that connects the two is for high wheel, high clearance, four wheel drive vehicles only. So we chose to just do part of the south Puerto Blanco road and that takes you right up next to the border wall with Mexico. The other scenic drive is the Ajo Mountain Drive loop, and it was really nice. Oh my gosh, it, it was gorgeous. It was really nice. This one is paved in portions, but mostly gravel and pretty rough. We did it, in, I mean, you can do it in a passenger car without a problem. You don't, it does not require four wheel drive or high clearance, but it is rough and it will take you a few hours. It's about a 21 mile loop 
and it's one way. So once you get started, you're committed. Yes, but it's one reason that I like this park better than Saguaro. There's lots of mountain views along with the cactus. And we were driving, you were driving up into the Ajo Mountains. It is just amazing, just gorgeous. You'll um, see arches. Right. We did take, we did take uh, a small hike on the Arch Trail um, and Arch Canyon Trail. And to be honest, it was kind of a letdown. You can see the arch better from the from the uh, from the road from than the you can lot. from the parking. <laughs> yeah, the the trailhead. Um, but you hike back in there. It's only 0.6 miles, so that's why we thought we would do it. There is an option. It's an unmaintained trail, but you can actually hike up to the arch. But it gets pretty steep and very rocky, a little sketchy. And so we got to the end of the trail and chose not to continue on up to the arch just because it seemed kind of sketchy to us. But and rattlesnakes. I don't like rattlesnakes. There's rattlesnakes and Gila monsters <laughs> around. We didn't see either, but we were always on the on the watch. So we are at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument and we drove around today and did a little bit of hiking but we are back home we are going to make dinner and I am making some smoked salmon Asian salads. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. We will catch you on the road as we continue to tour Arizona. See you soon. Bye.